If you're like most developers, you've probably heard of graph databases before, but you've likely never used one. And the reason why is because graph databases can be extremely hard to configure, and also you've got to get data into them and format it in the correct way so that you can actually run graph queries. I'm going to show you how you can actually make your Neon Postgres instance into a graph capable database by using PuppyGraph. So let's get started and see exactly how easy this is to do. All right, so the first thing that we're gonna to do to get started is go over to the Puppy Graph site. Now I'm assuming that you already have a Neon Postgres instance working. If you don't, you're gonna to wanna to set up an account and then I'll show you how to load the data that we need for this demo. Once you've got that done, then you'll come back over to Puppy Graph. We'll then go to resources from the main page here, click on documentation, and then you can come over to the getting started page. Here, we'll click on the launching Puppy Graph in Docker. And as long as we have Docker installed on our machine already, if you don't, you'll need to follow this link here to download Docker. Docker Desktop seems to work the best. And then I'm going to grab this command here, which is a Docker run command, which is going to run the entire Puppy Graph setup with a default password, which I can see here as Puppy Graph123. And then it's going to name the container Puppy. If I bring up a terminal, Paste that in. Mine will load very quickly because it's not downloading anything because I've already run this before, but it might take a while if you haven't run this before. So just a heads up. Here I can see that I've got this up and running. If I open up my Docker desktop dashboard, I can see here that I have a puppy graph instance and the name here is puppy and everything is up and running. Then what I can do is come over to localhost or 8081 and that brings me to the main page here in Puppy Graph to sign in. By default the username is going to be Puppy Graph and based on the argument that we put in our docker run command the password will be Puppy Graph 123. Now from here we've got a couple options we can either create a graph schema, which is going to allow us to do this through the UI, which is how I'm going to show you how to do it today. We could also do it through the graph schema JSON, which is just a JSON file where we can define everything. If you want to go that route, you can as well. I'm not going to show that today, but you'll be able to see that in the puppy graph docs. Or we can also use an example schema, but because we're going to be linking up to a Neon instance, we're going to do create graph schema. Now in this part, we'll do catalog type as Postgres, which is right here. Now, if you want to follow exactly what I'm doing, I'm going to link the blog that will show you how to load the data and everything like that in the description. I'll just give you a brief overview of what I have though. So I've got a few tables here. The schema here is modern. Then we've got created, knows, person, and software tables. As you can see, within each of these, I have created, which is going to define our edges. So from ID to to ID, created and knows are going to be our edges. So we have a person. So a person knows a software or a person created a software. And so our person and software are going to be our nodes. Created and knows will be our edges. And I'll actually attach the SQL script that you'll need to load all this data in the link in the description as well. So simple script, it's not a whole lot of data, but it's gonna get us started. Then I'm gonna click on dashboard here just to bring me back. I'm gonna show you some of the details that we need. So catalog name, I'm going to be modern because that's what it is over here. If you look at our tables, you can see here, it's modern. Username, to grab this, what you can do is if you come to the dashboard and click connect, or you can click this connect here as well, click this connect, and I can see that my database is called NeonDB, NeonDB underscore owner, which I can also grab here, is going to be my username. I'll also grab my password here. which is in my connection string. I'll paste that in. 
Now this JDBC connection string, the easiest way to get this to work correctly is probably just to use ChatGPT or Claude to format it. So I'm gonna come back here. I'm going to grab my string here. I'll pull up Claude and in a new chat, I will say, can you format this as a JDBC URL? And then paste that in. And then I'll grab this, come back over to puppy graph here, push it in as my JDBC string. I also talk in the blog about how to format as well if you don't wanna go the generative route, but I find that it's quite easy to do. And then we'll click save. Then I'll click submit. Now we're gonna use this UI to actually create our graph schema. This one is gonna be quite simple. So let's click add a node. You can see here that you can set the default node type. So default or many to one. I'm gonna keep it as default. My catalog is gonna be modern. My database is going to be modern. The table I'm gonna select from will be person. The label will be person. We'll then have an ID. And then we can also specify which attributes we'd like to have as part of that node. I'll keep all of these checked off as they are right now. And then I'll click add node. Now, what I could do is also add another node for, and if we come back to this here, I could add another node for software and then add my edges for created in nodes. But Puppy Graph actually helps us out with that. So if we do auto suggest, which is an experimental function, uh, we'll click on this. The starting node is gonna be person and it's actually gonna read the tables and figure out what it thinks our schema should look like. We can see here that this is our kind of root, which is person. And it's saying that we need to add um, software and then we'll also have another person and these are the edges so person created software and then person knows person that's exactly how we would have created it if we'd done it manually so from here we can click add neighbors or if one of these is incorrect you can also uncheck it as well and it won't add it but i'll keep both checked off click add neighbors there we go our graph schema is created i'll click submit and then it's been uploaded to the puppy graph server. So now, just like that, I can actually start issuing queries in graph query languages like Gremlin or Cypher. I'm gonna show you exactly how to do that. So if we come over here, you can see that I've already got a bunch saved. Um, if I click this, so any uh, node that has name of Marco and then knows and then anybody that's created software that Marco knows. So I'll click play. And here we can see that this has been returned. So we can see person v1, we can see person v4, and that's their ID. And then we can see that this person created that software. If I click on this, it will actually show me who this is over here. So the ID is V4. We can see that the name is Josh. We see their age is 32. No ETL is needed to do this. So this is, when you run this query, it is essentially translated and run against, well, translate is the wrong word. It's run directly against the underlying data source in Postgres that's hosted in Neon. There's no having to bring data into another graph database. It's just plug and play, it works with that underlying infrastructure, nothing else has to be done. Pretty neat um, when you look at how much work has to go into generally setting up a graph database and then ETLing that data over. All you have to do is deploy Puppy Graph, connect it to the data source, and then you can start to query. You can also use the graph visualizer as well. So we can see our data set as a visualization that we can explore. We can also come over to the dashboard, which is a feature that I really like, where if you have a query that you want to continually run and don't wanna you know, push it into that query every single time through the query interface, you can just do it right here. You can just save it. So 
you know, like for instance, this vertex samples, we can see that there's an underlying graph query running this. You can change the name of this tile, you can change the underlying query, and then you can also change the display type as well. It could be text, graph, or table. And that's what we've got here. All right, and with that, you can see that we actually have graph capabilities now built into our Neon Postgres instance by using PuppyGraph. To try this out for yourself, you can head to www.puppygraph.com and sign up for either the free forever developer tier, or if you're looking for something a bit more enterprise grade, there's also an enterprise tier available as well. If you like this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel, and I look forward to seeing you in future videos. Until then, happy coding.